Welcome back to Smart Library Solutions, your trusted guide to mastering Koha. If you've ever struggled with bulk cataloging, migrating records, or simply want to save hours of manual data entry, this tutorial is a game changer. In part 5 of our Koha cataloging series, we'll guide you step by step through the process of importing bibliographic records from Excel into Koha LMS smoothly, efficiently, and without the headache. Whether you're transitioning from an old system, managing a massive collection, or just tired of repetitive cataloging tasks, this method will transform your workflow. Let's dive. Part 1. Preparing your Excel file The foundation of perfect import Start by creating an Excel spreadsheet that contains basic bibliographic detail. Each field should correspond to a mark tag and subfield. Use separate columns for each mark field and subfield combination. Today, we'll be using Harry Potter by J. Rowling as our example for this demo. Data structure for common mark fields and subfields to include write $020A ISBN as the column header in the first row and first column. Then, in the second row of the first column, enter 9781408855869 as the ISBN of your first record. Row 1, headers enter mark tags and subfields, like $020 are for ISBN. Row 2, one book per row each row represents a single bibliographic record similarly, write $041A language code as the column header in the first row and second column. Then, Enter English in the second row of the second column. Likewise, write 080 row of the third column. In the same way, write 082 dollar B, item number, as the column header in the first row and fourth column. Then, enter row H in the second row of the fourth column. Just like that, write 100 dollar A, author, as the column header in the first row and fifth column. Then, enter rolling, J, in the second row of the fifth column. Important. All data for a single book must be entered in one row. Once we verify that we are entering the correct information, go to Koha Cataloging and click on Fast Cataloging. Here, you can see the mark tags and subfield. $020 are for ISBN is correct. Similarly, $041 are for language code, $082 are for DDC number, $082 B for item number, and $100 are for author. All Similarly, write the following column headers in separate columns, with their corresponding data below, $245 title Harry Potter, $245 B subtitle, and the Chamber of Secrets, $250 edition first, $264 place of publication, New Delhi, $264 B publisher name Bloomsbury, $264 CEO of publication 2014. $300 a number of pages, $359p, $300 be other physical details, $490 a series statement, $500 a general note, $520 a summary, $650 a keywords, 1. Literature, $650 a keywords, 2. English fictions, $650 a keywords, 3. English novels, $700 added author, 1. $700 added author, 2. Essential fields, do not skip 942$ C item type BK to verify item type codes in your Koha system. Go to the Koha staff home page to click Koha administration under basic parameters. Click item types confirm that BK is the code used for books item specific data. 952 fields $952 a home library main $952 B current library main $952 C shelving location GEN $952 G cost price $952 O full call number 823 row H $952 P barcode 1015 $952 Y item type BK to verify codes like home library and shelving location in Koha. Go to the Koha staff home page. Click Koha administration. Under basic parameters, click library. Check that the code main corresponds to your library. Still under basic parameters, click authorized value. Choose show or click on LOC location. Check that the code GEN is used for general stack. You can download a sample Excel template from the description of this tutorial to make formatting and editing. Part 2. Installing Mark Edit Your Secret Weapon For Mark Conversion, visit the Mark Edit website. Go to https colon double forward slash mark net mark edit is a free 
powerful software tool used by librarians and catalogers to create, edit, and manage MARC records, machine-readable cataloging records. These records store bibliographic and metadata information in library system. Download MARC Edit. Click Download from the left side menu. Select Windows Build option. Click Download MARC Edit 7. 7. All users. Install Mark Edit. Locate the downloaded file. Mark Edit underscore seven underscore seven underscore user underscore install in your downloads folder. Double click the file to run the install. Click Run if prompted by a security warning. Follow the installation wizard. Click Next. Select Typical Setup Recommended. Accept the license agreement. Choose an installation folder. Default is fine. Click Next. Click Next again. Click Install to begin installation. This may take a few minutes. Once complete, click Finish. Verify installation. A Mark Edit icon should now appear on your desktop. Double click it to launch the part three. Mapping Excel to Mark the heart of the process. Open Mark Edit. Launch Mark Edit from your desktop. Access the delimited text translator. Go to Tools in the menu bar. Select Delimited Text Translator. The Mark Edit Delimited Text Translator window will open. Set input and output files source file. Click the folder icon next to provide source file. Locate your Excel file. If not visible, select all files in the file type drop down. Click open. Output file. Click the folder icon next to provide output file. Enter a file name like output. Click save. Configure import settings Excel sheet name. Default is sheet 1. Change if needed. Delimit. Keep tab as the default unless your data uses a different separator. LDR008 settings. Click edit LDR008. Select book for bibliographic record. Click OK. Import the file. Click import file. A data snapshot window will appear showing Excel columns labeled as field 0, field 1, field 2, field 3, etc. Under field 0, you will see 020 a ISBN. This represents the data you recently uploaded. Suggested mark tags for mapping. Map Excel columns to mark field. Under select or settings, assign each column to the correct mark field. Choose field 0 for 020 a ISBN. Type 020 in map to click add argument. After clicking add argument, you will see your added mark tag and subfield in the arguments box. Similarly, Choose field 1 for 041 a language code, type 041 in map to click add argument, repeat this process, for all necessary fields. Choose field 2 for 082 a and DDC number, choose field 3 for 082 b item number, choose field 4 for 100 a author, choose field 5 for 245 a title, and merge the all the subfields of same mark tag. For this click the fields one by one and right click and choose join fields save the template, optional, but recommended, click save template to reuse these mappings later. Check the ignore header row box, otherwise, you will have to delete the header row manually for finish conversion click finish, and .mrk file in Merck text format will be generated automatically. Part 4, Converting Merck to MRC, the format supported by Koha, open the Merck file in Mark Edit, Launch Mark Edit, and open your MRK file, select the file, then right click and choose open with Mark Edit, or simply double click the file, if associated with Mark Edit. Note, Merck files are plain text Mark records in a human readable format. Edit the Merck file, remove the header row, if present, as it is not part of the bibliographic data, ensure each record starts with equals LDR and follow standard mark structure, modify item specific data, var codes to duplicate items for the same bibliographic record, copy the entire item block lines with equals 952 fields, paste it below the original item data, change the barcode, dollar $p and other unique fields, dollar $o for call number, save and compile to mark, MRC, Go to File Compile File into Mark, choose the Output folder and file name. Output MRC. Click OK to generate the binary mark. Part 5. Import the Mark file into Koha, the final stretch. Come back to the Koha staff interface. Go to Cataloging. Click Stage Mark Records for Import. You will see the Stage Mark Records for Import screen. Under Upload a file to Stage, click Choose File, select your MRC file. Click Upload File. Select the record type, usually bibliographic. Set character encoding to UTF-8. Set format to mark. Do not change any of the default setting.
Click stage for import. You will see a new message. The job has been include. You can view the details of the include job or view the batch by clicking on it. Accessing and managing staged mark records. You will see a new screen labeled mark staging. Click manage staged mark records. Alternately, go back to cataloging. Then click manage staged mark record. Click the imported batch, usually in the first row. Use Koha's matching rules to avoid duplicate. Staging is complete. You will see a summary of how many records were found, how many were new, and how many were matched. If everything looks correct, click import this batch into the part six. Verify the imported records in Koha. Celebrate your success. Access the Koha OPAC. Online public access catalog. Open your web browser and navigate to the Koha OPAC interface, which is the public-facing catalog where users can search for and view library resources. Search for the imported records in the search box available on the home page of the OPAC. Enter a keyword related to one of the records you recently imported. This could be the title, author's name, ISBN, or any other identifying detail from the mark record you uploaded. If you imported a book titled Harry Potter, simply type that title into the search bar. Review the search results. Check if the imported record appears in the search results list. Click on the title to open the full bibliographic record. Make sure all metadata, title, author, publication info, etc., displays correctly and matches the source data from your mark file. Confirm the accuracy of the record. Ensure the cataloging information is complete and properly formatted. If the item has holdings or item information, like call number or barcode, verify that these are also present and accurate. This process ensures that the imported records have been successfully integrated into Koha's catalog and are accessible through the OPAC for users to find and use. Part seven: Tips and best practices for importing records into Koha. Always test with five to ten sample records before performing a full import. Validate your mark structure using MARC Edit to catch errors early. Use Koha's matching rules to prevent duplicate records. Back up your catalog before doing any bulk imports, just in case something goes wrong. And that's how you import records from Excel into Koha using MARC Edit and Koha Staging Tool. It's efficient, scalable, and an essential skill for any library professional. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe to Smart Library Solutions for more practical Koha tutorials. Coming up in part six, we'll explore how to export bibliographic records from Koha LMS into Excel.